Her Ethelbald was king of England from about 856 to 860. A short reign indeed. He was born around the year 800 CE, during a time of great upheaval in England. The country was divided into a number of small kingdoms, each with their own ruler and culture. Her Ethelbald was the son of King Ethelwulf, who was one of the most powerful kings of his time, and a devout Christian. Her Ethelbald became king of Wessex in 856 CE, after his father's death. Wessex was one of the most powerful kingdoms in England, and Her Ethelbald was faced with the challenge of maintaining its position of dominance. Her Ethelbald's half-brother, Her Ethelbert of Kent, was also a powerful ruler and claimed the right to rule over Wessex as well. This led to a power struggle between the two brothers, which was eventually resolved in Her Ethelbald's favor. Her Ethelbald was a strong and capable ruler, who was able to maintain the unity and stability of Wessex. He was also known for his military prowess, and was involved in a number of campaigns against the Vikings, who were raiding the coast of Wessex. Her Ethelbald was a devout Christian, and was known for his patronage of the church. He was a benefactor of the monasteries at Glastonbury and Winchester, and was said to have given generously to other religious institutions as well. Her Ethelbald issued a number of charters during his reign, which granted land and privileges to various individuals and institutions. These charters are an important source of information about the social and economic structure of Wessex at the time. Her Ethelbald was involved in a number of military campaigns against the Vikings, and was able to repel their attacks on several occasions. Her Ethelbald was married to Judith of Flanders, the daughter of the Frankish King Charles the Bald. The marriage was a political alliance that strengthened Her Ethelbald's position in England. Her Ethelbald's marriage to Judith was controversial, as she had previously been married to Her Ethelbald's father, Her Ethelwulf. Some saw the marriage as a violation of the traditional rules of succession. Her Ethelbald's marriage to Judith was annulled by the Pope in 860 CE, on the grounds of consanguinity. This means that the marriage was deemed to be too close to be legally valid. Her Ethelbald died in the same year, and was succeeded by his brother, Her Ethelbert. Her Ethelbald's reign had been relatively short, but he had made a significant impact on the history of England. Her Ethelbald was buried at Sherborne Abbey, which he had founded. The abbey was an important centre of religious and cultural life in Wessex, and Her Ethelbald's burial there was a mark of his devotion to the church. Her Ethelbald was known for his love of hunting, and was said to have been killed by a boar while out hunting. This story is likely apocryphal, but it reflects Her Ethelbald's reputation as a passionate and adventurous king. Her Ethelbald was also known for his generosity, and was said to have given away much of his personal wealth. He was a patron of the arts and literature, and was known to have sponsored the production of a number of illuminated manuscripts, which were highly prized at the time. Her Ethelbald was also a builder, and was responsible for the construction of a number of important buildings in Wessex. He founded Sherborne Abbey, and is also believed to have built a number of other religious houses and fortifications. Her Ethelbald's reign was marked by a period of relative stability and prosperity in Wessex. He was able to maintain good relations with his neighbours, and was known for his diplomatic skills. Her Ethelbald's reign also saw the emergence of a strong bureaucracy in Wessex. He relied heavily on his officials to administer the kingdom, and was known for his efficient and well-organised government. Her Ethelbald's legacy was significant, and he is remembered as one of the most important kings of Wessex. His reign set the stage for the eventual unification of England under the House of Wessex, and he is seen as a key figure in the development of English culture and identity. Her Ethelbald's story has been told in a number of sources over the centuries, including the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, which provides a detailed account of his reign. Her Ethelbald's story remains an important part of English history and culture, and his impact on the country can still be felt today.